So, as you might have noticed, I have no idea how to raise a human child person. Lincoln, would you agree? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah? Uh. Yeah. So there you have it folks, straight from the boy himself. I'm ill-equipped to teach a child about the world. By myself, this is about the sum of what I could teach baby Godzilla. Fortunately, I'm not by myself, because while I don't know anything about how to take care of an infant, I do know a thing or two about caring for my dogs. And interestingly enough, I found that by caring for my dogs, I also care for my son. Because even though he's an only child, Link's known from day one the world doesn't revolve around him. Our family is a team that takes care of each other. And sometimes that means waiting for our own breakfast in order to make sure others get theirs. What I find fascinating is that I never had to teach Link about feeding the dogs. Never had to explain it to him. He saw me caring for them, so he decided on his own to join the effort. Our morning routine now consists of the little Beastmaster orchestrating mealtime with me. It's a fun way to practice his dexterity, patience, and counting to three. Tasting and dispensing treats now also fall under Lincoln's purview. Again, we work on counting, and for some reason, we also use that time to practice throwing a fastball. Not sure why, but hey, Zero doesn't seem to mind. Dogs aren't known as conversationalists, but Zero and Penny definitely do their part to help Link understand and speak new words. Would you like to give the dogs a treat? No. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Who is this for? For Pen Pen? Pen Pen! Yeah! Very good! One for Pen Pen! Give that to Roro. Over there. Ah, no, that's Pen Pen! <laughs> they also teach him a thing or two about comedic yeah, timing. Give one to Zero! <laughs> Do you want to give one to Zero? Yeah! Yeah? Yeah! Okay. Give that to Roro. <laughs> With each treat and each meal, I see Link learn more. More about himself, about the world, and most importantly, about the joy of serving others. I can explain none of these things to him, and often, I have trouble explaining these things to myself. But I can always show him these things through Penny and Zero. I've always said that when we care for our dogs, we care for ourselves. But I've also discovered that when I care for my dogs, I also care for my son. It's how Lincoln and I spend time together. It's how we experience new things together, conquer fears together, and build confidence together. And, of course, it's also how we make sure the dogs get extra treats together for helping train the newest employee at the zoo. I remember how many people once told me raising a dog was nothing like raising a kid. They said everything about my relationship with my dogs would change once I had a child. And they were right. Probably not how they thought. Because sure, raising a human is its own adventure. But nobody says you can't bring your dogs along with you on that adventure. And I hope there's no laws against letting your dogs teach a few classes in the school of life. So while they won't make the cut to attend parent-teacher conferences in the future, I always appreciate these two for helping me show Lincoln all the important things in life I'd never be able to explain on my own. We'll catch everyone later. Have a good weekend. Last one. Bye-bye. <laughs>